Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to the introduction of the new project car. It's not yet a project video though, but today I want to properly introduce you guys to the new project car. In the last video I already announced a new project car, but today I want to talk a bit more about the future projects that we are going to do together with this new project car. First of all, the new project car is this Golf MK7. It's not a GTI or a Golf R like the most cars here on YouTube. But it's just a regular Golf MK7. This one is from the first generation Golf MK7s and it's from 2013. It has a 1.4 TSI engine with 140 horsepower and 250 Nm meters of torque. And well, that's just for the Imperial boys. It's definitely not the fastest car though, but I'm happy with it. And well, it's quicker and definitely consumes a lot less fuel than the previous car I had. Despite it isn't a GTI or a Golf R, it is fully loaded with options like a panoramic sunroof, adaptive cruise control, front assist, lane assist, a DSG because well, let's face it, I'm lazy and lots more of that good stuff that I really didn't want to be retrofitting anyway. So what can we actually do to this car with all these options already on the car? Well, luckily I already got lots and lots of ideas for future projects. So, first of all, the exterior of the car. I want to slightly change the looks of the car, but I'm not sure yet what kind of front bumper I want. Because I like the GTI front bumper with the hexagon grills in it, but I don't really like the three stripes around the fog lights. So what do you guys think I should do? Maybe should I get the Golf R front bumper and then try to retrofit the hexagon grills from the GTI? Let me know in the comments down below, or vote in this poll here. I am also still not sure about the logo in the grill because I don't want a GTI or a Golf R logo. I would rather have something unique on the car. I was thinking about a custom Honey's Engineering logo or maybe the red YouTube play button that has slightly my preferences. What do you guys think? You can also vote for this one here. Also depending on the front bumper I choose I want to get the corresponding side skirts and rear bumper with it. Next I would also change the spoiler for a Golf R spoiler and then paint the whole roof the same black color with green and purple metallic in it as I had on the Golf MK4. Corresponding to the black roof I will probably also paint the mirror caps black or maybe I will go for the forged carbon mirror caps, I'm not sure yet. And now that we're talking about the mirrors, should you guys think I should get the dynamic blinkers in the mirrors as well? And well speaking of dynamic blinkers, the next upgrade I really want to do is to change the halogen rear lights for the Golf 7.5 facelift dynamic LED lights. And then one of the last exterior upgrades I want to do is installing the LED license plate lights. So let's talk about the interior upgrades that we're gonna do together. First of all I would definitely change the DSG shifter knob for one from a Golf R. Next I would also like to change the steering wheel for one from a Golf GTI or a Golf R and then try to create a custom Honey's Engineering logo for it, like I did in the Golf MK4. Then I also saw some retrofit kits for the virtual cockpit, but I'm not totally sure about it yet, so maybe in the future I will give it a try, we will see. Then one thing I really want to do is to retrofit the 8 inch radio display from the Golf MK7.5 facelift model. I really like the looks of that display, but those displays also have the Apple CarPlay functionality at my car, unfortunately doesn't support that, so I will try to find out if I can retrofit that as well. Otherwise I will probably just be retrofitting the display. The next thing I want to do is to paint all the interior parts around the radio and also on the door panels. The same high gloss black with green and purple metallic like in the Golf MK4. I know the interior parts in this car are already high gloss black and I like that, but I just want to slightly change it up with the green and purple metallic. Then I would also like to retrofit the Black Heaven, because I don't really like the beige interior. The next thing I would definitely like to do is to upgrade the speakers and implement the original subwoofer in the spare tire. I prefer to install the original DIN audio speakers and subwoofer. But maybe I will go for some aftermarket speakers, I don't know yet. Let me know what you guys think I should do. I would also like to change the speaker covers of the door panels, but these aren't separate speaker covers. They are part of the door panel itself. So I will try to figure out something later on. Or maybe do you guys have some suggestions on how to change the speaker covers of the MK7? 
And on the topic of the door panels, I would also like to change the leather for some Alcantara from the original Golf R door panels, if I can find it secondhand. I was also thinking about modifying the trim pieces of the door panels, not only to paint them black, but also to implement the Honey's Engineering logo in them, maybe with some acrylic or something, and then connect them to the interior lighting, that is also already in the original trim pieces. Next to all of this, I got a lot more ideas for future projects. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, you should definitely let me know in the comments down below. I also recently created my own merch and I got some more designs. Next to that, I also created a Patreon account. So if you would like to support me, you can buy my merch or you can become a Patreon for even one euro a month. The links are in the description down below. That's it for this one. See you guys in the next project video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ah, you know all that stuff already. Come on. And for now, as usual, a little B-roll at the end. Enjoy. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through.